Hello YouTube, this is in memory of Matches 860. Now I know in the spirits community of YouTube, you probably don't know who Matches 860 is. He's actually not even a part of the spirits community. He is part of the pipe smoking community. And to me, the genre that I wish to work in crisscrosses and, and brings in the spirits community as well as the high-end tobacco, which would be, in this case, pipes. Not necessarily cigars, in case you're curious, never been my forte, but pipes are. So I sit before you with my no-name bulldog, and in it is uh, Second Breakfast from the, uh, the Squire. Uh, tobacconist in my cup my glass my Canadian faithful Canadian is quiet man Irish whiskey but that's not the reason why I bring all this up or show them together what brings all this up is matches 860 a gentleman by the name of John coming out of I believe Connecticut is it Vermont one of those great states over in the New England area of the world. And he had had a heart attack and has passed away from that. Leaving the YouTube community, pipe community, short of an icon. I started smoking a pipe years and years and years and years ago. And I remember coming across Matches 860 time and time again. And it's one of the things where you don't fully understand what you're looking at or what you're seeing until much later. And in this case, that is what has happened. I didn't realize that this guy was a giant amongst the uh, YouTube pipe smoking community. And what he said, many people took to heart. It's not that I said anything mean or anything bad about him. I just thought he was just one of the countless others who were going to come and go, and that was the end of it. Well, to my surprise, he did show, but he never seemed to leave. I've watched many faces just drop off uh, the, y the YTPC, never to be seen again or to show up many years later only for a short bit and then disappear all over again. But matches stayed and became an icon. And his following grew and grew and grew. And there was nothing really overly special about his, uh, his his podcast. He gave reviews, much like other people gave. He gave stories, much like other people would give. He had a great camera presence. Uh, he had a, a, a pleasant voice that you could sit and listen to for as long as you wanted to talk. But others also had that as well. But matches stayed. And he kept on with the hobby. And that is what gave him his growth, his, his turning into a giant in the YouTube pipe community. So when he, well, when his time came and you know, the fate said now, off he went to the ether, it was a great loss. And I bring this up to the spirits community. Because pipe smoking, leaning back, enjoying a, a, a bowl of fine tobacco, is not too far off from leaning back and enjoying a dram or two of your favorite spirit. I know, how can you say that? Cigarettes will kill you! Cigarettes are the cigarettes. Cigarettes, yes. But when it comes to cigars, and it comes to the pipe... You have to be careful in the information you get. They tend to want to throw in the results from cigarettes, thinking it's all the same when it's not. And besides, there's plenty of naysayers, evil speakers and whatnot about spirits as well. All you have to do is go back to the history books and see when they decide to try to make the country into a dry country. 
and all the chaos that came from then and how it still affects us now of prohibition. But I'm not here to debate about laws, past laws, current conclusions, future conclusions. I'm trying to link together the pipe world and the spirits world. And really, they're not too far apart. They often go hand in hand. But since times have changed and attitudes that po the population has, has tried to split them apart. And really, they shouldn't be. So when Match is passed, a tragic pass, and it is a tragic passing, it is also a tragedy to the spirit world. Not a direct contact, not a direct shaking or thumping on the world of the YouTube spirits community, but it is, it is a tragic death to the neighbors of the YouTube spirits community. And I felt, since I tend to bridge the two together, or at least in, in touch with both communities, I wanted to, know, wanted to let my brothers of the glass and sisters of the glass know the tragedy that has happened to one of our neighbors. So if you get the chance, though you may not know his name, though you may not have ever heard his voice or heard his wisdom, please raise at least one glass in the spirit, in the name, in the memory of one man who was a friend to all in the community right next door. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, raise your glass, raise your pipe, toast everyone, all the memories that they've given us, all the wisdom that has been passed to us, and to those that we do not know their names, but we are connected to, maybe even indirectly. Till next time, my friends. Keep on drinking. Keep on smoking.